also have 31 days. And we have all accepted this load of rubbish. And we are living with it comfortably. We eat our biryani and go home and sleep while uncritically accepting a new system of time which has come from that civilization. More than that, yes, we are leaving Pakistan to go and live there. That's heaven. And this is hell. Who wants to live in Pakistan? This is hell. No, no, no. Los Angeles and Miami, that's heaven. That's the sheep and the cattle and the goats and the camels that we now have in the world. Who have said goodbye to the Quran. But not all of them. Masha Allah. There are Pakistanis now in Britain who are returning to Pakistan. And I am so happy with that. They are listening to me. And they will listen to these lectures in this Ramadan. And even more of them are going to say, we are packing up and we're going back home. And I say, come back to Pakistan. Come back to Pakistan and teach the people in Pakistan who are packing their suitcases to go abroad, to live abroad, because that is not heaven. That is hell. The Prophet said that the Dajjal will come with two things. He'll come with a river and a fire. But his river is a fire. And his fire is the cool waters of a river. And so the Jal will take the road to heaven and make it look like the road to hell. And the Jal will take the road to hell and make it look like the road to heaven. And so now that we have understood that we have betrayed the truth, we have betrayed the Quran, we have betrayed the system of time that Allah has ordained for us, because all of us have accepted this rubbish that has come from the Vatican, from a Pope in the Vatican, that a day can have 28, a month can have 28 days. And all of us have accepted this load of rubbish, which has come from the Vatican. I have Roman Catholic friends, and they're not going to be happy when they hear me speak like this. But you are my friends. I know your hearts are good people. So I have to teach you. Your Vatican has made a mistake. And you should not be offended when I point out a mistake which has been made, as I am not offended when you point out that I have made a mistake. All of us make mistakes. Like Baal says, only stones don't make mistakes. <laughs> that we have accepted a system of time which, in which a month can have 31 days. And this is my view that we are perceiving time moving faster and faster because we have departed from the system of time ordained by Allah. And we are living with a system of time which has come from the Dajjal. This is my view. And my further view is that if you have this perception in your heart that time is moving faster and faster, Dajjal is taking you for a ride. And at the end of that ride, you will become a Jasad, like he is a Jasad. If you don't understand what I'm talking about, then please read my book, The Quran, Dajjal and the Jasad, because the word Jasad is in the Quran. It is an automaton. You are being transformed from a human being who has freedom inside of him, freedom to think, 
freedom to choose, a self-directed will. And uh, you are being transformed now into another kind of human being that I describe as an automaton, meaning you no longer think for yourself, others think for you. You no longer choose for yourself, others choose for you. They have a lovely term for that in English. They call it brainwashing. <laughs> and in French, they call it uh, lavage de cerveau. Hmm? Brainwashing. And that's where we are today. I don't know whether your Darululum will agree with me. But it doesn't matter to me anymore what the Darulum says. I have spoken long enough and they don't want to listen to me. So I'm moving forward. My language is harsh now. I'm close to 80 years of age by the sun and 82 by the moon. I have been teaching Islamic eschatology for 20, 25 years now. And they know it. But they reject me. And they close the doors of the masjid on me. And so I'm moving on. And my students are moving on. We don't want to become automatons. We do not want the Jal to transform us into jasads. What should we do? This is where we ended on the last occasion. And on this occasion, we are reminding you that Allah will always have a door open for us of escape. Yes. And he says in the Quran, بَعَدَوْزِ بِاللَّهِ مِنَ الشَّيْطَانِ الرَّجِيمِ وَالَّذِينَ جَاهَدُوا فِيْنَا لَنَهْدِيَنَّهُمْ سُبُلَنَا وَإِنَّ اللَّهَ لَمَعَ الْمُحْسِنِينَ And whosoever strives and struggles in our way meaning to be faithful to the truth. We will open the door for them, a door to success, a door for escape. And so whether you are a Christian and you're listening to me, and many Christians are now listening to me, or you are a Jew and you're listening to me, and there are Jews who are listening to me and they write to me, whether you are Hindu and you are listening to me and, and there are Hindus in India who are listening to me and who are writing to me. And if you are a Buddhist as well, whatever you are, this is my message to you. That if you perceive time moving faster, you have to look for a solution to that problem. We have a solution in this community. Allah has sent a book, the Quran, which is a recitation. And it is in the correct and proper recitation of this book that the heart will be healed and you will no longer perceive time moving faster and you'll be able to block the jal from from destroying your internal freedom, your capacity to think for yourself, and your capacity to choose for yourself, so that others don't think for you and for your children, and others don't uh, uh, be, become a people who brainwash you. We have this from the Quran. You must now search if you are a Christian, search whether you have a means to resolve the problem. If you cannot resolve the problem and your heart is still perceiving time moving faster and yet faster, you are in trouble, I'm telling you as a Christian. And if you do not have a solution, then I invite you, come. Come to us. You do not have to join the Ummah, the Prophet, become a follower of Prophet Muhammad Islam. No, just learn the Arabic language and recite this Quran. But you must accept that this Quran is the word of the one God. 
If you do not accept that the Quran is the word of the one God and you reciting it, what can it do for you? But I am so happy. I am so happy that there are so many Christians now in the Orthodox Christian world who are now drawing closer and yet closer to the Quran. And some of them are writing to me and saying to me, Sheikh, we accept that this Quran is the word of the one God. Yes. And there are so many Christians now in the Orthodox Christian world who are drawing closer and closer yet to Prophet Muhammad. Allah's blessings be upon him. So I say to you, my brother, if you do not have the means to be able to solve the problem of your heart perceiving time moving faster and faster, then come to the Quran. In our next session, we'll explain how the Quran can solve that problem. Thank you. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. First things first, why isn't he allowed in the masjid? There is that, because I think I noticed he mentioned that twice, if I'm not mistaken. I'm just curious, what did that mean something else? Otherwise, I really, really love this video, and I said I loved where it was going with the time concept and everything. Very, very true. Another thing that he hit on the nail, right on the nail, head of the nail, is um, freedom, freedom to think. Yes, this video is there, but what did he say? This is my opinion. You can either disagree with it or agree with it when you thought about it yourself. We've lost the power to decide things for ourselves nowadays. We watch something, we just want to take it. We watch something, people just want us to take it just like that. I always love to give examples for people that do reactions to um, uh, religious things. When you go to the comments, there's always someone saying something directing you to what you should think, what you should have said, and what you should have noticed. You're forgetting that I watched this. I got a different message from the one that you'll be getting. I'm focusing on time. Someone else will focus on the freedom. Someone else will focus on the fact that he was talking about Christians. But others will actually appreciate that he spoke about main religions and advised them according to his own opinion. So you can take that or not. You just don't have to say, ah, oh, no, this is trash. Won't even look into it. If that's what you want to do, fine. He's not forcing anyone to listen. Don't ever force anyone to listen. That's just the thing. But otherwise, let's go back to God's ways. Let's just not accept anything our governments come up with or Western powers come up with. We were the right to say no. We were the right to say yes. The... um. That option is really, really open and anyone can do as they please. Otherwise, let me know what you guys actually think about what he was saying about time and how the job has changed uh, 2021. Your comments are always welcome. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe and I'll see you in my next reaction video.